Hello, welcome to this short video on how to connect to a Windows machine using Bastion service. First, I'm gonna go to the compute instance that I have created in here. This machine is created in a pub uh, in a private subnet, as you can see. In here, in that private subnet, I have attached a network security group that will allow me to access um, this RDP, yeah, port 3389 from different locations. Okay, so in here, as you can see, I can access it from uh, my private, yeah, from any location from my private VCN. Next step will be to go and uh, create a Bastion service. In my case, this one was already connected and created, yeah. So in here, yeah, you can click Create Bastion. You specify the name of your Bastion, yeah, you can name it test or somehow, yeah. You select the VCN, the Virtual Cloud Network, where you have uh, your instance, your Windows instance. You select the target subnet, which is a private subnet in here, and you specify the subnet, uh, yeah, the cider block that you want to allow it. So it can be, let's say, your own home on IP address, like 81xx or something like that, yeah, or you can allow the full internet, yeah, to be accessible. But anyway, t there are additional security rules into it, and you at the end you press Create Bastion. After you create the Bastion service, you're gonna go to the private uh, yeah, name of the Bastion that you created in here, and you can create a new session, okay? Because you are talking about a Windows session, so that means you need to connect on port 3389, you need to click SSH port forwarding session in here. You're gonna name it uh, jump host, yeah, connection, yeah, in here. You're gonna click instance name, and you're gonna select the instance that I showed you earlier. The port needs to be 3389, you select the SSH key that you want to use it to connect for it. Yeah, so you're gonna put the public key in here, and after that you're gonna use the private key to connect, and you're gonna create a session. This is gonna take a few seconds, yeah, and the state will be changed from creating, it will be changed to active, and after this is done, we're gonna click in here, yeah, on the three dots on the right, okay, yeah, it's already changed to active. We're gonna click on three dots, you're gonna see view SSH command, you're gonna copy this view SSH command yeah, that you're seeing in there. You're gonna paste it in a text editor, okay? And in here, you can go and do different changes, like this one. So in here, you can go and use port 3389. You can remove this, yeah, if you already, uh, your SSH connection can connect directly and yeah, they know from where to take that, uh, that key. You're gonna go into PuTTY or your SSH connector. You're gonna press enter. And in here, yeah, on my computer, you see I have an issue in this, yeah, because uh, I'm not uh, able to connect uh, using uh, SSH minus RSA key. So to do that, yeah, I will pause a little bit and I will uh, start doing changes in my SSH connection, yeah, in my SSH configuration file, and I'll specify that this needs to be allowed. Okay, so what I have done in here, yeah, I have uh, accessed my um, SSH config file, yeah, and in there I have added these two line, host key algorithms, SSH RSA, and public accepted key types, SSH minus RSA. So with these two, you are able, yeah, after that, to run directly the SSH command. When you run it, you see nothing happens in here. So next step that I can do now is to open a remote desktop connection. Yeah, Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection. Okay, and in here you can see that I have this type of connection and the PC name it is uh, localhost. I can yeah connect to this one. I double click on it. It's trying to connect to the, my machine. And yeah, it says me the password is not correct. I can enter my new password in here. And the instance will start and I'll be able to connect. So, congratulations, yeah, you are able to connect to your uh, private instance with no need of uh, using a public IP on your Windows machines. Thank you.